I already recorded this once, but I guess this laptop decided that it wants to be a piece of shit today. Just like Martin Truex Jr. on that final restart. Ha! So yeah, I just recorded a 12-ass minute long video, and it just didn't say, so here we are again. So what the fuck happened this weekend? The truck race happened, it was boring as fucking shit, and everyone kept wrecking so nothing could develop over the race. So that was fucking horrendous. Yeah, that was boring. Hemrick's fucked. He's gonna win next week or else Talladega is gonna eat him alive. I don't think and there will be no survivors on Talladega. Like, fucking one of the guys that there's gonna be a guy that on the final restart goes down pit road and just loses the draft and then they're gonna the entire field's gonna wreck in turn one and all that's left is that guy that went down pit road. But, um, yeah. So Hemmick's fucked. John Ernemichek got a um, ride height um, violation. So the two guys that I was falling on to win this championship are fucked. So that's fantastic. First truck series chase has gotten up to such a fantastic fucking start. Because it was entirely necessary, this chase. I mean, it's not like the guy that... I mean, it's not like they were going into New Hampshire tied in the points lead or anything. No, we, we needed another fucking chase in there. So yeah, that's fucking fantastic. Xfinity. Oh, it's saying a lot when the Xfinity race is the best race of the weekend. Because... <laughs> There were no cup guys besides Blaney. And I'm just like, fucking put in Terrio. Just put him in. For fuck's sake, just put in Terrio. But no, they just absolutely needed Blaney in that race. So that was fantastic. But that, those restarts, uh, like, the strange thing is, is that the truck race... And the Xfinity race, like, had, like, the same frequency of cautions. But <laughs> it was far more entertaining because there were some great passes on restarts. Like, that is how the fuck the racing should be at all times. Brendan Gone led some laps. Bubba led some laps. Allgaier got wrecked. Actually... Suarez wrecked Hornish, which hit into Allgaier. So, once again, Allgaier's fucked as a result of someone else's stupidity, which is a surprise to literally no one. But yeah, the Xfinity race was the best race of the weekend. And I don't even remember that much of it because I was on a 68 hour long no eating streak. I think that's a record. So, yeah. Getting no calories in at that point. Oh, man. So I don't know if it was just the looniness setting in, making the race seem better than it was. But apparently some other people thought it was good, too. So take their word for it, I suppose. Uh, moving on to today. Woke up at 4.30 this morning because I was having weird-ass dreams in the house that we used to live in. So not even at this college or at the house that we're in now. No, it was a house before that. It was the one in the 2013 video. So if you find a video with a face cam, like a, like an early part of the LSD dream emulator, you can see that house. That was where I had that fucking... That was where I was at in the dream. Yeah, and I, and I forced myself awake and was just like, no, fuck you, body. No, we're not doing this. And I stayed up. So I've been up since 4.30 this morning. So that's fucking great. I also woke up at 3, 2.30. Yeah, 2.30 I woke up. And I just laid there tossing and turning. I couldn't get back to sleep. And it wasn't until a half an hour later, I got up and got a drink. And then I got back in bed. I was out like a goddamn light. And I'm like, when I woke up at 4.30, not only was I like, for my body, but I was like, for that fucking going to sleep bullshit. What? Point is, the Sprint Cup race happened today. And for the first three fourths of the race, there was leader versus pack margins. Fuck you, fucking 
screensaver. There was leader and versus pack margins that only an F1 fan could appreciate. And even then, it was still fucking ugh. And pit strategy is what made this race interesting. If it hadn't been for all the different cycles of pit bullshit going on, this race would have been a snore fest. And I would have fucking probably fallen off the goddamn... Fallen out of the window in my room and just been like, no, don't even, don't, don't, no, just no. And yeah, so that's how the f oh, that, that's how the fuck that went. My brain was fucking, oh, it was hard, dude. Like, it, it, it wasn't hard not eating. Like, I was able to keep myself from eating. Like, I thought about it the entire time, like, while that Xfinity preview was going. Actually, I was watching Shawshank Redemption after qualifying for Xfinity and before the race. It was, like, perfectly timed that right when qualifying was over. They were just doing the invocation. So, yeah. Shawshank Redemption. Good movie. Um, point is, I was going, I was going, like, you know... I could go like Taco John's, <laughs> or I could go to Little Caesars and get the nine dollar box right now, so I wouldn't have to spend an extra dollar today. But <laughs> like, I wanted to go to Taco John's the entire time, but I thought like um, Little Caesars would have more nutrients because it would have the cheese for dairy, it would have the crust for um, grains, it would have the tomato for vegetable, and it would have, um, um, the pepperonis for, um, meat. I mean, I could have done the same thing at Taco John's, but I don't, I don't, I just, I just don't like Taco John's lettuce. It feels fake, like it tastes fake. Like, if it was real lettuce, it wouldn't even be that bad, but no, it has to be fake lettuce, so what the fuck. But anyway. Yeah. Um... The race was fucking horribly boring. Um, ruined a great battle between Matt Kenseth and um, Truex there. You did, Michael McDowell. So that's the second race in a row that a 98 has had a say in how the race ended. So I think, like, not even the biggest driver in this chase this year is fucking Michael McDowell. Like, he has affected things more so than anyone else in the goddamn chase field. Like, Chris Buescher could only dream of being a backmarker and fucking affecting the chase as much as this. I gotta say, Casey Kane could be in the chase if it wasn't for Buescher. Casey Mears could be in the chase if it wasn't for Buescher, but... F that ship has sailed, hasn't it? I just want to, like... I just want to have Tony, like, say, fuck it, and give Casey Mears the 14. Because... If Casey Mears could bring Geico along, like, that's more sponsorship than Boyer could bring. Because Five Hour Energy is going to Jones. So what the fuck is even in the value of having Boyer at this point? It's like, what the fuck, man? It's just like, what the fuck, whatever. I don't give a shit. Yeah, race is fucking boring. Truex picked the best possible time to have an atrocious-ass restart, so that was great. When Kevin Harvick got under the front row, I was like, Matt! Why are you on the outside? He worked with Truex because he was slowing down for you intentionally. Why are you on the outside now? And I feel like it was like to keep Kyle at bay. Oh no. Uh, sort of fucking horribly boring race. Like the caution laps didn't add anything really. Like even the people that got like, um, that changed tires. Like, it was surprisingly competitive. Surprisingly competitive race at New Hampshire, because even with, like, um, taking, like, pitting at different cycles at the end there actually made a little lick of a difference. Amazingly. Never expected that. I thought, like, after Truex was able to stay ahead of Kenseth the entire time. By the way, Truex did not fail post-race inspection, so, um, fuck off! Guess who did fail post-race suspension? And then some bank inspection. Um, the 18 and the 20. They failed it the first time, but they got it the second time, so I don't know what the fuck that means. 
I don't know what the fuck that means, but fucking Christ, this goddamn fucking screensaver. Yeah. So. I've got one, two, three, four, five writing assignments due at, um. Well, actually, four of them are due Thursday. One of them's due in November. And that's the one I'd rather do, because it's actually interesting. It's a fucking argument of, like, debate paper. It's like a proposal in a way. It's like, a, it's like, it's, it's two debate topics. You have to write two pages for each debate topic. And, yeah, I'd rather do that. And that's due in fucking November. And if I hadn't been not eating all weekend, I probably would have tried to focus my brain power on finishing that immediately and being done with that and having procrastinated through the four other writing assignments I would do this. Three writing assignments that are due on one Thursday. Yeah. Anyone else watching the Eagles? Carson Wentz? Are you still doubting this shit? Are you still doubting this shit? Excuse me? Are you you still doubting this shit? Fucking guy's legit. Fucking guy is legit. And when I'm going to I'm going to NDSU in 13 days. Looking 13 Casey Mears. Go Casey Mears. I'm gonna get a Casey Mears t-shirt one of these days. I don't know why I haven't. I've been Spending a lot of money. I finally bought a fucking razor. That's coming on Friday. So, next time you see me, it's probably not going to be with this. Give me suggestions in the comments of how I should do my facial hair. Want me to have mutton chops? Fucking comment that shit. But anyway, I don't give a shit what you think about my facial hair. I'm fucking sexy. I don't give a shit what you have to say. Yeah, what? I still fucking hate Kevin Harvick for Talladega last year. Should not have been in the finale at Homestead. Yep. That's the case right here. Should not have been in the finale at Homestead. So, yeah. Yeah. Matt Kenseth wrecks um, Logano to um, change the outcome of the chase. And he gets a two-race suspension. Kevin Harvick does it at Talladega. And... No one gives a shit. No one gives a shit. No one gives a shit. Mm. So yeah, fuck off, Kevin. Um, Dover is next week. That's gonna be fucking boring as all hell, I'm pretty sure. Sure hope that they give Tony the four car that weekend. They just paint a one in front of the four. Not even change the goddamn paint scheme. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. No, they probably won't. So, fuck it. Uh, uh. So, yeah, boring-ass race. Uh, kind of want to die. And Chase is probably not going to change at all. Charlotte might be fun, because Truex fucking killed everyone last that, la that back in May. And, uh, Kansas is going to be a boring-ass race as usual, so that probably is going to be, I don't know. And then Talladega is going to come and just throw the goddamn rule books out the window. But whatever. I don't give a shit. Fucking tire. I don't want to go back to school tomorrow. I only have one class, which is honestly a godsend. Because those, those three writing assignments, I'm only halfway done on one, only three-fourths of the way done on another, and they haven't even started on the last one. So, things are looking up for old Kamikaze this week, I gotta tell you that much. You know, I picked the four easiest fucking classes I could find. Alright? Can someone explain to me how the fuck I got a 70% on a history test? Here's the fucking answer. There was like... 15 questions. There was actually, there was like 10 questions, alright? 10 questions. And then 5 bonus point questions. So, that's why the fuck that happened. So, I got 14 
out of 20 questions. God fucking damn, this god fucking damn screensaver. So if there had been more questions, I probably would have been able to answer more correctly. So I really have a fucking... This is just so, it's just so fucking cutthroat. There better be a writing assignment like like this government one. Because the government one is the debate one that I could be done with. Like, in the time that it's taken to record both takes of this fucking video. This has actually gone on longer than the last one. So I'm probably going to have to wrap this shit up. So, yeah. It's telling when the best race of the week was in the Xfinity series. I tell you what, but... Yeah, mm, it was just who the fuck was expecting a good race this week? <laughs> Honestly, who was expecting a good race? I wasn't, so not quite as disappointed. But Christ on a fucking candle! Stop burping. Say goodbye to the beard. Say goodbye. No, it's don't say goodbye, cause I don't want to hear those words tonight. Um, I have eaten, by the way, so this isn't the starvation looniness. This is just regular looniness, or maybe it's the after effects of having been starving myself for 68 hours. Uh... I better have made a difference in my fucking weight. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a lot to eat tomorrow, but I'm not gonna eat probably much on Tuesday or anything at all on Tuesday. And I'll probably eat something. I might fucking break down and finally go to Taco John's on Wednesday. But I don't really want to give up this prime parking. <laughs> the only thing that matters in my life right now is NASCAR and this fucking parking spot. All right. That's why I have four assignments due, and I'm fucking starting on oh, whatever. I don't give a shit. Plus, they have those those two of the two of them, the one that I'm three fourths of the way done, and the one that I'm not started at all. They have to be handwritten. Why? Just why? What is the purpose of this? I'm sorry. I've had enough. I had enough fucking three hours ago when Truex fucked up. But. Whatever, I'm fucking tired, dude. Because I've been up since 4 fucking 30, thanks to my stupid ass fucking dreams. That was glorious. Why am I still recording this shit? Rant of the week? Nah, I think the fucking. I'm so fucking tired. I'm, I'm done. God, I feel like a fucking old person being tired at 6 at fucking. It's not even dark out yet. Like, it's. It's fall now. I was thinking it's almost fucking um, daylight savings time or whatever the fuck you call it when it's not daylight savings time, but that's not until like November, right? I don't fucking know, whatever. I'm fucking tired. As you can see, there's no way this would have lasted 18 minutes if I wasn't, so yeah, hopefully it fucking saves this time. That would be phenomenal because I am sick of being in this fucking car. Like, I'm just lucky that it's windy as fuck out and the sun is behind the building. And it's not fucking hotter than the motherfucking Himalayas up in here. Himalayas are actually cold, aren't they? Why am I still recording? Bye, I'll see you later. Ugh.